How's it going everyone? Welcome to the first Goalie Talk video. It's going to be a straightforward series that I think will be good for the Goalie community and the channel itself. Each video will have a different Goalie topic where I'll give my thoughts and you can give yours in the comments below. And feel free to suggest topics or questions for future videos. And if I'm lucky and an opportunity arises for a special guest, I'll definitely try and do that. Now for this video, I want to talk about goalie bugs that I think need some attention in NHL 18. Let me know which bugs annoy you the most. Well, I think that the best way to change people's views on a game that maybe they're not enjoying, it's not always new features. It can be, they're definitely important. But I think it's about fixing or improving the features that you currently have that, you know, that exist in the game. And I think the devs prove this in the beta by taking some of the key issues in NHL 17 and they fix them in the beta and they deserve a ton of credit for that. Uh, for example, there was a bug in NHL 17 where your goalie would move on his own just from the puck moving around your zone. It didn't matter that you weren't touching the left or the right stick, your goalie would still move in the crease a little bit at a time. It made no sense, but that was fixed in the beta. If you don't touch the sticks, your goalie will stay where he is and he'll just turn his body accordingly to face the puck exactly like you should. There was another bug where doing a small movement with the left stick, usually towards your glove side, uh, your goalie would actually move further blocker side, the exact opposite direction of where you wanted. That was fixed in the beta. Those two fixes right there are huge because where we move our goalies, that's where he's going to move now. There's a lot less confusion. I don't have to constantly look back at my goalie just to see where he is and... That combines with the fact that saves seem to be much more consistent when you were in position. It made goalie a lot of fun to play, so good job to the devs there. That being said, there are still some issues that I want to show you guys. The most annoying for me were the goalie cover-ups. I still think that they're very inconsistent. It's 50-50 if your goalie can pick up a puck, even if it's sitting an inch away from him. Uh, some of the animations are still slow. It leads to very annoying goals, and I think we just simply need more cover-up animations, better cover-up logic, because there's a ton of situations that, there's a ton of goalie situations to cover up a puck, but not enough animations to cover it all. For example, trying to cover up a puck while on your post, it's nearly impossible unless it's in a specific spot. So I think the feature either needs to be improved or revamped completely. Now, some of you are probably going to go in the comments and say, go to the options and turn auto cover off. It's an option. You can do that. You are right. We can do that. But I think that by doing that, you're admitting that the feature doesn't work like it should. So in the short term, in the now, we can definitely think about turning that feature off. But I'm thinking long term, I'm thinking feature of the game. It is something that definitely needs to be addressed. This next bug I'm going to talk about, I'm going to call it the no reaction bug. Let me know in the comments below if this happened to you guys. It happened to me about four or five times. The skater winds up for a wrister in the slot, which is a somewhat far distance. There is absolutely no screen. My goalie can see the puck clearly. And for some reason, he would not react to the shot. I don't know why it happened, but from that far away, there is no excuse for not getting a save animation. If it goes in, if I get sniped, it, gets, I, it goes in. But give me something. Uh, there were actually one or two times where my goalie still made the save. No reaction, he didn't move, and the puck would just slap him in the arm. It would slap him in the mask. I thought it was pretty funny. But if this was a common thing, definitely take a look at that for this game, because that could be, a, could be an issue. There were some buggy save animations that I had when using the post. Uh, for me, this happened when my goalie was attempting to make a save, as I was trying to hold the post at the same time, I would warp out of the crease and then warp back. As I said, this bug is mainly about, you know, a unique timing. You're trying to do something in the game, trying to do something at the same time. Uh, I'm pretty sure the devs are aware of this. Hopefully they can take a look at that as well. The frozen goalie glitch was still there. You get run over in the crease and sometimes your goalie will be frozen. Definitely happens a lot in threes where there's a lot of action. If this happens to you, just flick up on the right stick to unfreeze your goalie. That trick worked every single time except for once, and the one time it didn't work, it was actually really funny, something cool happened, so take a look here. Oh, oh, oh! 
I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm pressing all the buttons. I'm stuck. I'm pressing all the buttons. <laughs> yes. Did you save that? I think so, and that got me out of it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> so, uh, this glitch was patched in NHL 17, but when they did that patch, it actually caused other goalie issues. So I think they undid the patch, if I'm correct. Fingers crossed that they're able to fully patch this in NHL 18, but luckily, this is a bug that we can fix on our own, you know, temporarily until then. I still had the issue of holding the invisible middle post once in a while. The good news is that for me, it happens less often than in 17. If I'm wrong about that and I just got lucky, I'm sure you guys will let me know. Uh, this bug can be annoying because it happens when the puck's very close to our net or behind our net and it, it's like the worst timing. We're trying to make a save, there's going to be there's gonna be a play, there's, there could be a shot and it could end up resulting in a cheap short side goal that wouldn't have happened if we were on the post like we're trying to do. Next up is goalie interference. It's always an issue and for, for me I actually give the devs a little bit of leeway on this. I think that interference is incredibly difficult to program. It's it's more of a judgment thing. It's either too strict or not strict enough. Uh, I do think that this this is important, but I think that the, the the issues mentioned earlier in the video are a higher priority in my opinion. And this last clip is actually pretty funny. It wasn't last year's game. It's just as fun to watch in this year's game. It's not high on my list because it involves using flicking up on the right stick doing a poke check and in in this game you should almost never use that 99.9% .9 of the time you're not going to use the manual poke check but it is it's it's still worth mentioning at least i want to hear what bugs you think are the highest priority if there's any that i missed let me know in the comments below i think that this goalie talk this is going to be a cool series so if you enjoyed it you know give it a thumbs up i talk tons about goalie stuff anyway that's what the whole channel's about so I think from my, from my end, I may as well organize them into a series for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit notifications for alerts on more goalie videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.